Today we'll be featuring a song entitled These Eyes, which was birthed and recorded at the KL House of Prayer. The KL House of Prayer is a prayer hub with a vision to establish prayer and worship in Malaysia and in the nations. It is located at Level 16, Menara Central Vista. You can find out more about the KL House of Prayer from their website www.klhop.my The KL House of Prayer is led by George Jesu Dasan and his wife Janice. Josh leads worship and teaches with the goal to see his generation proclaim the gospel of the kingdom in the nations. He recently released a single entitled Dominion, which is available in most music platforms. Also in the leadership team is Grace Sung, who serves as a worship leader. Grace is an established songwriter and was involved in producing SIBKL's productions such as Everworld the Musical, Unstoppable EP album, and SIBKL 25th Anniversary Celebration Musical. Grace has a passion to raise prophetic voices and songs all across the earth. Tan Jiamin, who was in, also involved in writing these eyes, is a prophetic singer. The recording and audio engineering was done by Lester Wong. So let's hear from Josh, Jiamin, Lester, and Grace themselves how the song was birthed and recorded at the KL House of Prayer. Hi, my name is Josh, and we are from the KL House of Prayer. And KL Hop is a worship and prayer based community right in the very heart of KL. Um, and in our prayer room, we basically we train up, we build up singers and musicians to go deep in the Word of God. Um, and this song, These Eyes, was written in one of those spontaneous moments that we have constantly in the prayer room. Um, and so, yeah, Tiamin, maybe you can tell us more about that moment. Sure. So, I wrote the post chorus uh, during a, a spontaneous set in the prayer room. Uh, so, I was leading worship and it came out of a spontaneous moment. At the end of the set, Grace came up to me and said, Hey, you know that part of that song would totally fit into mine. And that's how it happened with four chords and that, you know, that the song came about. And the Bible is really full of invitation to sing. It's a really powerful way of expressing uh, love to the Lord. And it's, it can also be very fun. Right, Lester? <laughs> yeah, the recording was fun, but it was also a lot of work. Uh, we recorded everything in one day in a house. Uh, it was like a massive undertaking to get everyone together and everything set up, but we managed to get it done. Uh, fun fact is we did not practice together until the day that we got together to record. Um, so we did a multi-track recording and multiple takes. Um, so after the recording, I was able to go back and listen to all the, the takes and choose all the best parts from all the instruments and voices and put together uh, one good uh, take of a track. So uh, yeah, we didn't do any overdubs. Uh, whatever you hear in the track was recorded that day. Hi, I'm Grace. And yes, it was an absolute joy and a privilege to record these eyes with the team. Um, as Josh had said, this song or the chorus was birthed out of a time in the prayer room when we were doing a worshiping word set um, based on a verse uh, from Psalms 27.4. It says, you know, one thing I would ask of the Lord that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever and of all the days of my life, um, and that I may behold the beauty of the Lord, that I may gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. Um, and inquire in his temple and so yeah that that chorus uh, you know that I sang a spontaneous chorus that came out of that and uh, I left it for a while and then when Jiamin had this amazing tag at a different set many, many, many months later uh, it was something like yeah it goes you know I can't take my eyes off you sorry I didn't really see it well, but yeah um, I was like that actually fits so perfectly with the chorus that I haven't done anything about so now's the time to, to write the song and so I wrote the song during the first MCO when you know it, it was really the first wave of the whole COVID hitting our nation and I thought wow Lord what is it that you want to say to us during this time and second Corinthians 3 verse 18 um, hit in my heart and it was it goes um, we with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord 
are being transformed in the same image as Christ from glory to glory. And so even in the next chapter, it goes, you know, uh, our light and momentary affliction uh, is temporal compared to the eternal glory that awaits us. And I, and this is this is truly what we're going through. What what we went through in 2020 with the pandemic and all really was such a, a light and momentary affliction compared to the eternal glory that awaits us. And so. This song is really about lifting our eyes, fixing our eyes on the things unseen, on the beauty of the Lord. You know, asking the Lord to give us that faith, that hope and that love that would anchor us during such uncertain times and such a dark hour in our age. But we truly believe that even as we lift our gaze to see His beauty, and seek His face all the days of our lives, we will dwell in His presence forever. Amen.
things unseen Give me ears to hear The words you're speaking Let my faith and hope Be anchored in Christ alone You are my glory Give me eyes to see eyes you gave me were made for beauty to see your face for all my days with all that's within me I'll behold your glory I lift my gaze to seek your face